Okay, here's my uh, my story with uh, my impression of Donald Trump and why I I'm an ex uh, Republican now turned Democrat and will vote against Trump or will vote for Biden in in 2020. Um, ever since Trump started, I I didn't have a good feeling about him because of where he came from and how he acted. Even though I I never really watched too many of his uh, TV shows, uh, The Apprentice, I didn't like him, so I didn't watch any of his his shows. Um, anyway, he, he continued to be the same persona, um, and, but maybe more pronounced in the way that he uh, demeans people and the way that he talks down at other people and the way he criticizes other people and bullies uh, others. Those are kind of like the first indicators that we had something totally wrong here as, as uh, the right person to represent us as the, as the leader of our, of our nation. And, um, you know, the signs just kept building and coming um, as time went on. And I don't have enough time to, you know, uh, you know, document all of them or talk about all of them. But um, the one thing that kind of blew my mind was when he first uh, started uh, the immigration lockdowns and and separated families separated children from their families in a very uh, harsh and and um inhumane way uh the other things that that struck me as obvious uh violations of his power was when he fired the ukraine um ambassador when he was being uh tried for impeachment and he just fired her for no reason um you know that was another kind of like wake up moment that of how blatantly he was, uh, you know, mishandling his power. Um, the other things were uh, recently with the pandemic, you know, when, when he just didn't take action uh, quick enough and the way that he portrayed the problem as nothing significant or nothing to worry about and downplayed it and, and made all these comments that were just garbage. Um, so anyway, it was just so much, so many, you know, uh, information, so much information that, that was contradicting and, and uh, misinformation that he fed, that he feeds people constantly. I just couldn't play along with that. Um, and then most recently with the situation with, uh, Floyd, um, George Floyd, um, you know, where he brought in, um, people and push the, the peaceful demonstrators out of Lafayette Park um, so he could do his own uh, photo op with the Bible, which to me is, is very hypocritical and uh, a, you know, fake of, of, of using something like that for his own uh, political benefit and, and, and just looks really bad. Anyway, he's just not, not a, uh, an integer, a person with an integrity and a leader that I think we we can have uh, as the, you know, the main person in our country leading us through all these things that we're dealing with right now. So uh, thank you for this opportunity to voice my, my opinion, and I encourage others to, to do the same.